Espresso is the fundamental ingredient to every coffee beverage we love, so it has to be good. With your Beans subscription, you're getting incredible coffees with every delivery, and they need to be dialed in to get the best flavors possible. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee. Let's dial in Jaguar Espresso by Equator on the Barista Express. Now, assuming you've already selected the double on the filter size button, place the single wall double shot basket in the portafilter, and the machine is fired up, we're at the same starting point. Here's what my bar setup looks like from accessories to placement. Pause here if you need a minute to set yourself up for the brew along. At minimum, grab a dry towel. We have Jaguar Espresso by Equator in the hopper today. Super chocolatey, toasted nuts, a little bit of cherry. You're gonna love it. My grinder is set at a seven for this coffee. Yours might be different and that's okay. Let's start where we are. We'll make adjustments later. Remove the portafilter, and I like to wipe it out, get rid of any coffee grounds left in there and just dry it. Insert the dosing funnel. This is gonna keep all the coffee in the basket while you're grinding. And while I'm grinding, what I'm gonna do is also purge the brew group to get rid of any residual coffee and also reheat the system. Press, purge. My starting brew recipe is 18 grams of freshly ground coffee, 25 to 30 seconds brew time, resulting in just under two ounces of espresso. All right, all the coffee is mound in the middle and it's gonna look like it's a lot of coffee, but it's right around 18 grams. Settle the bed using that funnel to keep everything inside and settle it like you would a cake pan. Remove the dosing funnel when you're comfortable and then just move the coffee into the center if it favored one side or the other. Now grab your tamper and align your wrist and elbow in a straight line, thumbs facing each other, and press into the bed straight down until the bed stops moving or pushes back at you. All right, let's see if we have enough coffee or too much. Using the razor tool, slide it in across the surface of the bed and just give it a couple of spins and get rid of any of the loose coffees. Come on back and give it a little polish. This is a no pressure finish polish, just a little twist. Wipe off the edges. This is important to get a nice watertight seal. And bring it over to the machine and set it in left to right. Press the double cup button, grab your cup, set it under the spout. You shouldn't see the first drop till around the seven or nine second mark. The machine starts at a low pressure and water is moved through the puck up to high pressure. That's called pre-infusion. This will result in a slow saturation of the bed and a full extraction of sugars, acids, omegas, and lipids that make up a delicious espresso. Oh my gosh, we are just under 10 seconds from a delicious shot of espresso. So I see a nice fluffy crema, which is the evidence of fresh roasted coffee. Mm. Got that toasted hazelnut, that big baker's chocolate flavor, which again, just pairs really well with milk or an alternative. I love this coffee. Did your shot look and taste like mine? The number one goal of adjusting the grind is to either slow down or speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Don't be afraid of this step. We can always adjust it back. If the water flow is too fast, the coffee may taste sour. Adjust the grind a couple of notches finer to slow down the water flow through the bed. If the flow is too slow, the coffee could taste bitter or roasty. Adjust the grind a couple of notches coarser to speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Over time, all these steps will become second nature and you'll go from having good coffee sometimes to great coffee every time. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee.